Raj sent me some video of Buzz Aldrin. Here you go. It's a Milky Way. The Milky Way is a galaxy in space. I've been in space. <laughs> Largest television audience in history watched my next guest walk on the moon with Neil Armstrong in 1969. We are very grateful to have him with us tonight. Please welcome an American hero, Mr. Buzz Aldrin. What do I, I don't want to be presumptuous Buzz. here. I can call you Buzz. Buzz. Okay. That's a, a legal name, passport, okay. driver's license. And I am Uncle Coney tonight. Uh, Uncle Coney. Let's talk about this, because this is fascinating. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does, I remember my parents waking me up and we went down and we watched you guys land on the moon. No, which you was didn't. No, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. See, you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. Yeah, I know. Uh. Well, well, <laughs> well, no. Here's a Mars bar. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> Earth. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator at NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a... This was a moon guy. I walked on the moon. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> okay, I guess. Mr. Armstrong, Bart Several, ABC Digital. Wanted to give you the opportunity to swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Will you put your left hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked on the moon? Gentlemen. Mr. Sarbo. Yes? <clears throat> if you really walked on the moon, why would you not do that? So why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Sarbo, knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Really? Well, no, it's a real Bible. You have the when President Kennedy said, May 25th, 1961, yes. I believe that this believe nation that this should commit nation itself should before the decade is out of landing a man on the moon. He was right. And returning him. The opportunity to have $5,000. The meeting is not open. Well, you have $5,000 cash. You can give it to charity if you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Please I have a cake. That'd be fine. Why don't you I swear won't. to, why not? Why won't you do it? So why don't you put your hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked yeah, on the moon? Mr. Seibel has made a fool of himself in front of the world. Mr. Seibel, you do not deserve a moon. He was right. And returning him safely. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't wait, understand wait, wait that. Wait a minute. He didn't say anything about going outside the spacecraft and walking around on the moon. Right. He said to land a man on the moon and uh, bring him back. Okay. John F. Kennedy messages received since her husband's assassination. Senator Edward Kennedy is also present as Mrs. Kennedy speaks of the letters which eventually will be placed in the Kennedy Library. The knowledge of the affection in which my husband was held by all of you has sustained me, and the warmth of these tributes is something I shall never forget. Whenever I can bear to, I read them. All his bright light drawn from the world. All of you who have written... I know that still is an enormous amount of work to be done before Mr. Stone's beautiful building rises to the top of the coma. But I hope that by this spring, ground will be broken and they will start to build a wall at the center. So that will be a reward to all who have worked so hard for tonight. And it will be an encouragement to all of us who will keep on working. Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? I'm not trying to get you the tell him to get out of here. This is a hotel. We'll call right, the we, police. We we pay. Come right. on in here. We'll call the police. You like that? Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? I, it doesn't, sir. I don't I have nothing to do with this. But okay. you cannot solicit on this. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if I ever thought of it. Saying I misrepresented get myself. away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief.
got the word, Dorothy. Any telephone me before the balloting, then right after it, and then about 5.30 in the morning. Do you have any vacation plans when he comes home? Yes, we plan to take his vacation here until Congress goes into session. We hope to take it in our own house. Is your baby due before inauguration day? Uh, when's inauguration day? <laughs> Conversation between you and the senator when he called. Well, the first word. Hello, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> you think so? Yes. Nothing that made very much sense. Just happy people. I understand that at one time you uh, were a roving photographer in Washington. Is that right? That's right. Do you uh, do you uh, does all of this bother you at all? I'd rather be on that end of it than this. I think. <laughs> Have you ever been in the White House on a visit? Uh, contribution of Apollo was demonstrating the ability to land on another object. Mm -hmm. now I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you well, get I'm out. I'm out. And get the hell out of the house. That NASA knew what the hell they were doing when you absolutely, went up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you Werner von Braun wanted a, a, a Nova rocket, which wouldn't have been ready until way past the president's deadline. Uh, 1970 or so. Right. We had a Saturn V under construction. Well, if you used $135 billion to not go to the moon. That's still not treason. Treason is if you tell secrets to another thing. I have said enough. Now, you can use that and say, well, you didn't say something else. No. I know how people are. It's okay. Well, I've Take your stuff and get the fuck out. And I saw this footage. It's dated by an atomic clock three days into the flight. All the astronauts are identified. And they're, we're, they're there putting the transparency over the window. They're clearly pretending to be halfway to the moon when they're not halfway to the moon. That is bullshit. I don't care what you say. I went to the moon and back, and everyone that's a scientist knows it. Now, if you want to not believe it, it's okay. Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? I'm in the shadows in Iran. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that shit. You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to, I want you to swear Get to God on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Okay. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you if you don't leave me alone. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not... Uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Uh, 